sure he's going to have some good power. Uh, I just believe that he's not going to be able to hit me. I'm going to be too fast working behind my jab the whole entire night and moving out of the way of his big punches and exposing him in his chin. What are your thoughts on the lawsuit between Diaz and Say it again? What are your thoughts on the Diaz Masvidal lawsuit? I, I think Nate Diaz and the Masvidal lawsuit just shows how dumb these people are. This is not an easy business. Boxing is not easy. It's not easy to sell pay-per-views. If someone's giving you a big guarantee, it's most likely fraudulent. And Nate Diaz should have taken my $15 million MMA offer, but yesterday's price is not today's price. So now that he needs money, uh, the, the offer goes down, and I'm still down to run it in the PFL against Nate Diaz. You say 2025, Yeah, in the next in the next two years, I will be cruiserweight world champion. Are you there's a lot of names on the list. I want everybody, and I'm going to prove to everybody that I can upset these guys and that I'm a greater boxer than everyone ever thought. Jake, you know, you just talked about Nate Diaz and Mazidon and their situation, and I just want to ask, you know, is there any potential possibility that you could ever mend things with Dana? He's spoken respectfully about you at times, like on his Club Shay Shay interview. He didn't bash or anything like that. Considering the fact that he seems to be the impediment between you and a Nate Diaz MMA fight or a Masvidal MMA fight, could that relationship ever be mended? Look, um, there's a lot of things I respect about Dana White, his, his politics, what he did for MMA, but now it's time for him to pay his UFC fighters more. And so if he can agree to do that, then I'm more than down to sit down and have a conversation with him and work on our relationship like grown men. And at the end of the day, I just want what's best for the fighters.